Good evening, and welcome back to Cosmeteer. My name is Pooks, and tonight we are continuing on with our Iron Man Admiral playthrough. Now, I'll, uh, I'll say more as we load up the stream. Alright, so in the, the last episode, we had disaster. Most of our ships have blown apart. Um, we even risks our salvage ship, our mining ship, and that got ambushed as well. The Anthony and the Brennan all both died, and all we are left with is a heavily damaged Owl Mark V. There's literally pieces still hanging off this ship. We have not repaired it. Uh, and, yeah, we're in a bit of a situation, really. Um, so, <laughs> I, uh, the natu natural thing I did, of course, was put up a poll to see what we should do. Well, you know, uh, we have a number of situations. So, our, our salvage ship died over at this W here. So, we can go over there and try and salvage the salvage ship. And potentially turn our Owl Mark V into our battleship. Uh, we also have the remainder of our fleet where we wiped down here. So those wrecks will still be present. I've been told in the comments that the ships that took me out, the two onrushes that were remaining, I believe, uh, we did successfully take out one, but the other two will have repaired themselves uh, in proximity to the station. So that is a bit of a problem by itself and we're, we're going to be facing heavy, uh, healthy, uh, also, you know, heavy too, uh, enemies should we return down there. So when we do make our return, and we will be making a return, uh, we want to make sure that we're bringing the firepower. So, um, I put up a poll to ask people what we should do. Should we, uh, A, retreat to the previous system? Uh, you know, discretion is a better part of Valor. Or, YOLO, we should just go straight and risk the OWL to repair our ship and turn it into a battleship instead. And naturally, people being uh, what they are, they all said YOLO. And I'm, that was kind of the option I was hoping for, to be honest. Um, but, I think what I should be doing as well, though, is maybe, oh, there's my alarm to make sure that I do start streaming. Um, what I should be doing here is forming a backup ship, right? If if everything uh, goes horribly wrong, we still want something that we can back up to, and that's what we're going to do as our ultimate backup. I don't want to run ruin the series um, by not having it like a, a vessel that we can go back to and exercise that option. Um, having said that, I, I do want to keep a... Re See, it's flip side here, right? If I, if I risk everything, there's more excitement in what happens. But we could just make a little lifeboat vessel, and therefore I don't have to end this playthrough and start through from the very beginning. Like, that means you all have to watch me mine and do all that stuff again. I was going to do another Iron Man run, and that would be a little bit ridiculous, I think. So, we are, for that reason alone, going to make a lifeboat ship. Now, um, in terms of this lifeboat ship, though, then I think I need to put some restrictions on it. Uh, my thoughts are, is that we are restricted down to the starting ship. So it's effectively starting again. Except for we're probably going to have a few credits. Uh, we've got a lot more fame. And so we're going to be, be able to build back up uh, to the start again. The only difference that I'm going to do... I'll just make this planning mode. Um, is... Where's the built-in ships... Starter, here we are. We'll go with the Model S again. So the only difference that I'm going to say is that it needs to have a hyperdrive so we can get back. But that's the only difference. Now, apparently this station doesn't have enough enriched uranium either to do this. And that's really friggin' frustrating. 
so we might have to unpause things and uh, just hope someone comes along with some more enricher uranium. But this will cost us, what, nearly 40,000 credits. Uh, where is it? We're going to go hyperdrive here. Turn off the mirror. I said turn off the mirror. There we are. And that will be mean. Really? We can only get to that percentage of efficiency? Okay, that's a little bit weird, but alright. So be it. Uh, yeah, that will mean that we can at least retreat and kind of start again-ish, sort of. Now we've just got to wait for, like, uranium to show up. Traders, please. Do we have a trader? Traders. All right, well, we're just going to sit and wait for a trader. Um, sorry if this takes a while. Maybe in blueprint mode it's not going to spawn any? I should have seen neutral shipping by now. Um, Alright, I'm just going to quickly save this one then. Save ship design as start again. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, now we go back up to 8 here. And will we see some neutral shipping coming in? Please. Please and thank you. So this is a little bit odd. Game. Ah, oh, here we are. Alright, we've got a trader coming in. It's a minor transport. Might just have a chat to him. Do you have... Uh, uranium on board. Not enriched stuff. But not what I was after. Got another one coming in this here as well. Minor modulus. Let's just talk to him. What do you got on board, buddy? No enriched uranium for you either. So that means I can't create my little buddy ship here. Yet. The bank account is willing, but the, uh, the game is not cooperating. Here we are, another contact. Please tell me you have. Man. Got a stream to run. Yep, still only got three in there. what let's do it this could be if this is a really quick episode that everyone's going to realize that um we died doing this <laughs> like it's going to be very apparent on youtube that it's uh yeah things did not end well oh last chance here What we got? You... Do you have the required goods, sir? You do! Thank Christ. Alright, so if I do this here... Um... Haste into existing, start again ship. We do that, we can make it so. Alright. So, from the owl... Uh, transfer crew to unnamed ship. It's gonna move one guy over there. And that should be enough to keep us alive. I think, no, I might need a, a two. 
Alright, transfer crew to unnamed initial. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, he'll just sit in the cockpit. So I need at least two people in there. Cool. Alright. Uh, we'll then talk to here. And we'll grab those. Oh, there's not an airlock. We'll, uh, we'll just fix that. I'm going to want airlocks. Really? There should be airlocks for everything that you need. Your way through, way through. Ah, oh, right. There's, um, Yeah, okay, fine. Alright, YOLO. YOLO it is. Send out the owl and turn it into a battleship. If we're any kind of lucky. Now, of course, if we didn't need that starter ship, we're just going to rip it apart again. Because I should get a full refund on everything. Now the thing that I'm going to be wanting to look out for here. Is. Um, that pirate that did us a dirty before. Alright. Here's our guy. Like our old ship here. There's the Trodoc. In horrible shape. And we're going to tell the owl. Start tearing that apart. And then what we've got to do is just be very quick on the mark if that pirate, roaming pirate comes back in. We'll need to run away at that point fast. Fortunately, the owl does have boosters, which is a big plus. And it looks like a lot of the materials are actually intact here as well. Which is a really good thing too. In particular, the rarer resources. Uh, that's a neutral shipping coming in. The more of those around, the better. And the other thing I have actually done off screen during the week is um, there he is. Just going to get our crew back first. They're coming back to airlocks. And we're just going to slowly kind of walk away. Let's see which way it goes. Yep, it's coming up towards us. Fortunately, I think it hasn't noticed us. So we're probably at the just the edge of its patrol path. So if we're any kind of lucky, we can continue to just pull this apart. Hey, that was mean. Dude, trying to salvage things here. But yeah, that was a bit of a brush with death. All right, we'll move closer to this one. There's another transport, apparently we're at the heart of some shipping routes here. Like a 
this apart. We're nearly done with the Trodoc. And then we're going to stop and just see if we now have the resources. All right, so we'll pause while we're doing this. We're going to go to this and uh, we're going to turn the blueprint mode on. Always do that. Replace our existing ship with, I have given it a name and I've made some changes. So we're replacing our existing ship with a new ship called the Phoenix. Which I think is appropriate because, you know, it's the, the firebird rising from the ashes after it's died. And given the bird naming of our ship so far, and the fact that we all we got wiped out, uh, this seems like a good name for our new battleship. Now, I have made some changes since the design uh, stream before, as I mentioned. Uh, most of it's still the same. What I have changed, however, is some of the layout and the crewing down from here to basically I was testing in a creative mode uh, to make sure that I had efficient engines and enough power to get um, to the engines. So that was the first thing to make sure that it was going to run. And I didn't want to do that on camera, mainly to make this episode a little bit more interesting for everyone. Uh, I also sorted out a lot of the crewing assignments and that sort of thing. Uh, sorted out the assignment of these particular um, diamond pr beam prisms so they were all kind of pointing in the right direction. And I've also made some changes up to front here as well. So pre previously we had flat cannons around here. And I decided that it maybe is not the best idea because they had a very limited arc of fire. So instead I thought, hey, let's let's keep it an energy-based um, weapon chip and we'll put on something, uh, flax on something else later on. Um, and that way we do have our, still our shielding here. We've got to, still got some offensive firepower up the front that can also bear on targets unlike this central beam thing, which is really restricted to a front sort of beam. Uh, but it was also going to need point defense, so I put up a point defense array up the top, as well as putting a whole heap of shielding up the top as well. So those are the changes that we've made. So we are going to, uh, yeah, um, it has up the crew requirements substantially. So it's now at the upper end of that 200 limit, but I've got no other ships. So yeah, uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we've got it in place. We have all the materials we need uh, out of the wreck of the Trodoc and the other ships kicking around here we can build this. It's gonna take up most of the resources though, uh, so we're not likely to have any sister ships. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to the station and turn our lifeboat one into a, a mining carrier freighter sort of thing. Uh, and then the second thing I'm gonna do is come back and grab all the rest of the materials and do some more salvaging um, with this as an escort. And also fully crewed, because at the moment we got bugger all crew in this thing, it will not fly very well. I'm hoping it flies at all, to be honest, with the number of crew that I've got available for it. It'll have to be very specific. But yeah, let's make it so. There we go, the Phoenix is flying. Yes, all right. It will have kicked our crew members out, unfortunately. Um, but if we go here, yep, good. Uh, we'll go to the assignments, make sure that they all stuck. I think that one, yeah, that's good. Uh, but yeah, this is the pay power layout. We've got everything powering everything it should. Uh, so they don't have to go to the other side of each of the ship or get out of air airlocks. Uh, and then this is the basic crew assignment that's happening out here as well. These guys should be like that, actually. Uh, I'm not sure why it wasn't set like that. Uh, this one should be there. And this one should be there, I believe. Yep. Um, I'm just going to check the other ones now. That's got me a little bit cons Yeah, okay. Not everything's carried across. Don't know why either, but okay. Uh, so let's fix the rest of this then. 
So these guys are powering me, doing stuff. I believe, yeah. You can do. We're doing the shield. You can do that in a shield. You can do just the weapons. You're doing this, that. Oh yeah, actually you can be that as well. Uh, so that is actually right, yep. And then you should be there, you should be there, and you should be there. That's what's, what was missing. Hi save. thanks for interrupting. Um, that looks like everyone's assigned to something, so that's held. You're there, you're there, you guys are there, you're there, you're there. Yep, that looks right. Okay, so we can turn this off. Oh, because it's inheriting, it's um, it's not inheriting the same permissions as I set up for the Phoenix, because I've, been, I've placed it over the owl, so we've got all these old sort of setups here. So they're all white shirts instead of red shirts. Okay, so these guys are bridge crew, so I might as well put them on the right assignment. That needs to be... Ah, uh, yeah, this needs to be a diagonal for it to mirror properly. There we are, that should work now. Good. Uh, have that been... Nope, that hasn't been assigned. Oh, man. Do all this work, and it don't work. Um, we're just gonna mess with these. All right, we're gonna call them ops instead. Job priorities set all priorities to one, then set all operate priorities to ten, and that's gonna be the deal basically. The ops people uh, are just going to be operating things. Uh, so you're an ops, you're an ops, and I think that's it for them. No, because you're assigned there, I'm pretty sure. Yep, you can be an ops as well. So that means everyone else is a power carrier, or these guys are ops as well, because they're all the people who are sitting yeah they have they've lost their assignments as well all right so these guys are just going to sit in the um and man the weapons is the idea whereas everyone else is providing power to those areas uh you guys can also actually power that when it, or when it needs to be would we'll need that cool that's all meant to be Hyperium, that's good. Okay. Uh, and then this can, in general... Uh, it needs to be crewed. Alright. So we want to make sure our crew go to the right places as well. I think they'll try and go onto one particular side of the ship first or something along those lines. So, we've just got to be careful around that as well. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. Alright, so... You guys... Just two of them there? Yeah, you're there. You and you go there. And you guys... Go to that bunk. We've already got two in there, that's good. Just need enough engines and the right um, people to kind of limp our way home. You guys, if you go to this, that'd be good. Then you guys can also go there. That'll power that external, that far one. Pretty sure that will sort out issues here. 
All right, yep. That's powered online, uh, and we should have some engines coming online. Okay, we can maybe make it home. Uh, speaking of movement, I believe we want to set the flight direction now to be like that. And then, yeah, we're going to head on home and just hope this pirate doesn't spot us. All right. So we've got some engines coming online. And they're going to have real, they're going to have real struggles while... Yeah, we've got ops, we've got plenty of ops guys, but we have uh, almost too many ops guys. And, you know, powering the wrong engines almost. So let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Otherwise, it'll be painful to watch this. Um, you go over there, and you, sir, can go to this one. And that might help out with our speed a bit. But we probably really want this engine cluster more than we want this engine cluster, because that's got the stabilizer on it. Okay, we'll speed up. We'll limp our way back. And as long as we don't encounter anything, we'll be fine. If we do, we're going to die. There's no ifs, buts about it. Um, we will need neutral shipping to kind of fly past us and lend us some crew uh, for this to work out in any kind of favorable situation for us. But yeah, one of the main reasons why I put on additional engine clusters was I found that um, it needed more speed. It wouldn't, um, because it's an iron ship, it needs to stay within a certain range of the targets. And if the target cuts it away, then it would never actually close with it. And that would also, you know, obviously be a problem uh, for it to be successful. Uh, here we go. We'll have a chat to the station. And we're going to hire everyone. Excellent. Now... Unfortunately, that's not actually filling up this thing. It is a crew-hungry little beastie. So we all need to kind of sit here for a while and just talk to all the people who come around along and hire their crew members as well. Because uh, I think it had been pointed out to me in comments that you can hire neutral shipping crew members. And I never did so, largely because um, there was not much, too much of a point, really. Um, those, I, I, I didn't have enough, um, crew to, or fame to make it worthwhile on trying to hire anything from neutral shipping. Now, however, it is worthwhile grabbing every single crew member we can from them. And unfortunately, we're going to have to sit here a little bit, for a little bit of time while we get our crew members back up to strength speed. So they're slowly going to, uh, you know, man our stations. Uh, this station will event will slowly regenerate crew members as well. But it is something that is going to take, unfortunately, a little bit of time. Excellent. Grab those. So one more dude here now. Another one here. It's also quite expensive. You can see my my dollars have dropped down a fair bit. I was uh, above two hundred thousand. Part of that is because I I built this. Uh, we're going to call this the lifeboat. Use in case of emergencies. Another two guys. All right, that's good. They're starting to fill up the point defense roles. But uh, thank you for everyone for your suggestions as well in terms of what went wrong and for your generally horrified response. Uh, but I'm pretty sure everyone enjoyed it as well. Um, I have reviewed the footage and where everything went wrong was basically me doubling down and thinking that I could take things on after I 
poorly positioned the Ares. Uh, so the Ares had its vulnerable back to things, and um, yeah, it was never going to get out of there alive as soon as those two contacts turned out to be on rushes or on sets. Um, so that that was my problem, basically. Uh, crew were expensive. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough dollars to crew my vessels. Hello, Acolyte. Give me your crew. Six. That's a good haul. A three there as well. Might be the stations hiring them off neutral vessels as well. So yeah, I know where I went wrong, basically. And, um, I don't know. It was still a lot of fun. I thought that episode was probably one of the better ones, personally. Uh, I mean, it was kind of horrifying and not all that greater feeling at the end of it, especially after I lost the Trodoc. But um, it was also kind of fun, watching everything just kind of fall apart. So, uh, another two, yeah, as soon as they talk to them, they seem to be able to get a, a few additional crew members available, in addition to the ones that we can kind of snipe off the ships themselves. Yes, come join me. I'm famous for ev getting everyone killed. Um, so what I would like to do is also have some escort vessels on the owl as well. I think that will be uh, quite useful, especially if we're coming up against more missiles and onrushes. I definitely underestimated their ability to hurt me. In fact, I was one of my own quotes was used against me, uh, me saying, "I like missiles. We can intercept those." Eh, famous last words. Slightly hilarious as well, though, considering what happened next. Ooh, another 10. Good. All right, we are running out of money. We're going to need some money, honey. How many crew do I need left? 163. How many can I actually hire? I can get up to... Doesn't actually say, but it's somewhere between 196 and 242. Alright. Yeah, so if this ship blows up, I'm yeah, gonna have to go build a mining vessel in a safer system, basically. Because we will not have the money to recover again. In fact, we'll probably want to make sure that this ship here has uh, enough Hyperium to jump around. Because I don't think it'll be too fast with just two crew members. 19! Alright, we are full on crew now. Cool. Alright. So, we have the, yeah, it needs to be called the Phoenix now, edit ship name, and of course that means that we quickly need to, oh yeah, look at the, the, <laughs> the pattern of the owl here, um, is there a way we can just clear everything, there we are. And then we can use this layer to at least paint its name on it before, you know, I go get it killed. So, turn off the mirror line. I hope I get this spelling right here, actually. Pretty sure 
pretty sure that's right. All right, uh, we'll grab this, cut it, and drop it about there. And then we also need the hull number, of course. So, P, S, dash, O. I feel like it should still be O1 because it has uh, been built off the same hull as the owl. But that's all I'm going to do for now. Because if we die, I don't want to have to spend all this time painting a ship and then finding out that it's not going to be around for a while. Now, I think we'll also tell this one to load up a crew. We have two potential crew available after that. But this is going to turn from a lifeboat to be a freighter ship. We won't be able to recreate the Trodox straight away. That's just not going to be able to happen. What are you doing, buddy? You're just like really slow? Yeah, because I took all your crew. That would make sense. Oh, the temptation to become a pirate right now. Alright, I'm thinking that we want to kind of dismantle all of this while we're in the neighbourhood. That was the remains of the Brunnen. Then see what we can do to turn that lifeboat into something that can pick up all this debris. I mean, at worst case, we can just... Um... Yeah, sorry, thinking to myself a little bit here. Uh, we want vertical axis, and then let's load, replace the existing with the built-in ship. Um, maybe the monolith guys will go with the civilian ship. And basically, I just want something that can transfer a whole heap of stuff with minimal crew. Um, like the minor mo modulus or the package distributor. That seems to be the biggest one working off six crew. Let's just check out the other guys and see what they've got on civilian. They all look like combat ships. They don't look like... Yeah, anyway, it's civilian. There's a blockade runner. That looks fun. 12, 6, the courier. Yeah, not really. And then these guys all need stuff. Missionary or the die look about the best. The die. We'll go the minor modulus. Uh, but we'll see, once we get a little bit more fame, if we can upgrade it to, say, a mass freighter or something like that, and then we can build the Trodoc again, is the ultimate goal. Uh, so, if I load this, yeah, I can easily make it so from the available materials. And then that will hopefully have enough speed to make everything sort of worthwhile. Cool, let's do that. I'm still going to call it the lifeboat. Um, have you filled up on Hyperion? No, you didn't. Uh, you can grab it from over here, though. And then you, once you've got your crew back on board, there we are. Uh, we'll just make sure. We don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want that. Basically, ammo is out, and I think I'm going to tell it to not pick up ores as well. And then we might say here... Ah, uh, I can't tell it to pick up anything yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to tell it to not pick up Hyperion for the time being as well then. Go grab some stuff, man. And 
this piece of the tray dock will pull that apart too. Oh, here we come. All right. Danger is incoming. Let's get the Phoenix underway. Now I just want to make sure that I have, yep, your control group two, your control group one, you're set in the right direction. Here we go. This is an untested battleship against a roaming pirate. So this could go horrifically wrong, but either way, we need it to work or we don't. You know, like that's gonna be the end for us. If it can't work, we don't have the money to really do much else. Hey, you don't wanna fight me, man? Come over here and fight me. Really? You're gonna be that pirate? Come back! Yeah. You know what? We will go back because I don't want this to be suddenly ambushed by another pirate or something. That would be a little bit tra tragic. Alright, we're picking up a fair bit of tri steel, that's really good. As well as diamonds and processes, that's also good. And definitely go pick up the uranium, because that seems to be a constant limiting factor. And we just speed things up. This should have enough Hyperium. Yep, it does. Good. Uh, go down there and grab coils, man. Coils take a while. Always useful. Yeah, alright. Here's our other pirate. So there's probably multiple pirates. Now there's a bulk extractor here as well. Okay, he's coming in. Should get this one. What have we got? We've got a flaming spire. He looks kind of like me, but not. Okay. Um... thinking if he bears onto us then basically we want that middle beam to start trying to do that and then I might have my side guns do various things oh, hang on why are you why would you engage like that man I need to engage front on let's say this distance seems a about right. And save attack defaults. Yeah, here's your freaking laser beam to your face, man. Let's slow it down and see how this goes. Uh, for whatever reason, the beam prism is deciding that no, it, it knows where to fire. Yeah, we are, we are not rotating enough. All right, we took out a flat cannon. Nothing to write home about. But there might be something explosive there. No, okay, we're gonna go for the middle. My beam versus your beam, dude. On the plus side, that seems to have weathered the incoming fairly well. We are copping it a little bit here. 
So I might actually make these, assign these to three, and then just these to two. Number two, if you can take these guys out, number three can go after these guys. don't like the way that this is going to dig through here. Yeah, we want to rotate more like this again. Because they're just smashing through to get to the reactor. Of course, rotating like that means I can't bring my main gun to bear. Really don't want to take the hit. We'll wait for this to go back up. Yeah, they're going to get through there no matter what, I suspect. So I think we've just got to go. We're going to take some losses. And take it on the chin. Alright. Alright, there's that reactor gone. Is our main beam. I want you to really focus on the target rather than just firing. They're working their way through the shields, but I'm not sure if it's going to do it well enough. They're working their way through the armor. Uh, yeah, it could be that this smaller ship is just going to take us out. So on that basis, we're going to get the lifeboat back to here. And I think we need to try to get the beam. Be slightly rotated here. Start working out its guns instead of going after their beam weapon. Do that. It's an expensive lesson, especially when we've just lost another thing here. some disruptors like this guy would have been the better option. This is going to start hitting the loud shield soon though. And hopefully that will defend fairly well. Yeah, we're starting to burn through here. If we can get this taken out, I think we'll be okay. Um, this out. Nice. Go for its shield next. Our lifeboat is away. These large shields are doing their jobs. We want these guys to target that if possible. And for whatever reason, yeah, we need to just rotate a little bit more. There we are, another 
the shield down. We tell this to target this and then this shield. Our rotation is not good. I need something to... I think I need to put another crystal further up. So we've really got to rotate exactly on at the moment. Hit our targets. Alright, I'm going to rotate to here, and then I'm going to tell it to target this next. Here it comes, you can kind of see the beam. gonna get to its yes reactor gone okay that's a win in the end it was a horrific win and we've learned a little bit about the Phoenix <sighs> there's our lifeboat back you come buddy So yeah, that flaming spire was better built than my ship, I think. What happened really? It started digging through here where it's kind of a little bit weak on your shields. And once it was able to blow up this part, then I think it did a similar thing down here. I think that calls for a redesign of the ship, to be honest. How much time have we got? Yeah, we've got a little bit of time, we could do it. So I'm almost thinking a double large shield here, and then we also need... We need something that's going to allow us to shoot a bit better that main cannon because half the time we weren't shooting I also didn't pick my targets well I need to not just try and go for the throat there probably not gonna have the all right let's let's tear this pirate apart for a start lifeboat down here and helping out to do stuff. Namely collecting all the bits and pieces that might be useful from this Rex. It's really uranium that I wanted to do, so let's disable all and just say you enrich uranium and go harvest anything that looks like that. There we are. Got one. Should be some up here from that reactor up here. I'm going to 
tell you to go after the valuable stuff first, I think. Yeah, okay, so that's only tearing apart the stuff that it thinks it will have valuable stuff on it too. That's good to know. Okay, so... Down this way. These, I wonder if we can turn in a mission yet, no, so that would have been nice for the credits, uh, grab these ones, so much stuff, wreck stuff around here, a cr cloud of wrecks. More uranium there too, that's good. Okay, so Phoenix, do you have a chance of just repairing all your damage here? No. Uh, you're out of uranium, we kind of expected that, but you're low on steel and coils now, okay. So we'll tell you, uh, we'll disable it all, go with coils next. There's a heap up here. Let's go grab those. Yeah, they're pulling apart anything that could yield coils. Cool. Yeah, there's heaps here, so we'll grab those. And then it should just be a matter of steel, I'm pretty sure. So, if we can get all the things that require coils in place, steel is going to be largely armor, I think. Although I should probably look to uh, redesign this properly first as well. Yeah, while that's doing that, let's go into design mode. Uh, this should be a different axis. There we are, or I've got this on. Um, so, what went wrong? What went right? What went wrong was clearly stuff blew up. <laughs> What went right was the... This gun is actually fairly effective. So, I think we need to make it more effective by putting a crystal laser in kind of here or something. So that we have a broader range of fire rather than having to angle all the time. Now to do that, we're going to need to do a few things. First, we're going to need to protect it. These small shields are not, not going to be enough, so we're going to get rid of some of these, which is obviously exposing things a little bit more. And we're going to replace them instead with large shields. 
do a large shield here. Move this small shield up one. We should be able to do a second large shield here. And that gives us four shields covering that sort of area. So this guy, if we turn this off, it's going to be these two. And it's vulnerable to side shots a little bit here, but then these guys will also help out with that. It's going to make it very vulnerable to MPs, etc. I'm just wondering though if this thing being here is going to interfere with the shield projection at all. It just might. Uh, we'll need something connecting it to our ship. So if we do structure, that will be fine. I believe. Work along that basis. obviously want power for those things and we probably want more crew there doing it I'm not a huge fan of that idea though because I'm already pushing the crew as it is the other idea would be to just scrap the front part of it entirely, make a cheaper ship, but then that would mean redesigning our, this to be kind of more cruiser size. It is a real possibility that we just make it a diamond shape instead. Yeah, because I don't think I can afford this, yeah, because make it so it won't happen. Right, so we need a more effective ship without making it more expensive. And the only way that I can see to do that is going to be um, cutting off the tops. So if I delete that. Get rid of this bridge part here. We'll uh, remove this as well. Get rid of this, okay. So we'll strip back a fair bit. Uh, we still need this central shield area. And we're still gonna need something providing shield. Now, this will suddenly become exposed as well. I've only got one diamond, so large shields are actually out of the picture there. And that's a pain. Because if we start taking hits down there, then we just destroy the interior of our ship. So we almost need um, this coming out like this, so to speak. So we've got a bit of an overhang there.
Uh, decisions. All right. Have this like this. It's gonna project shield out like that. It's gonna project shield up to here, and this one out like that. Then it will be able to be flanked. So we need this. Almost like this sort of arrangement. Shielding. Yeah, see, it makes me nervous there. We've got a reactor. Um, go up one. Another mid reactor here. Like that. Then some armor, like so. Definitely gonna need armor here. And then we're still going to need point defense as well. We can't forget about that. Uh, so if we run the point defense array here, it'll be six aside. Do this like this. Then we maybe make this into a bit of a a feature spike that is really just there for uh, for safety's sake. Flip that. Redesign my armor layering as well, just for convenience. Like so. You're gonna be like so, and then you're like so. Okay, then crew, door here, door here, door here, door here, door here, so I think I had a crew of six doing point defense before. Still want some firepower here, I suspect. And this needs to be shielded too. We run a small reactor instead there. Go away, Amazon buy viewer person. Too busy to bam hammer you right now. Right, we do that. These guys need to run the point defense, but we also want some people dedicated to shield. Running. They can sleep there. Put that there. That there. And then I still wanted firepower at the front here. Heavy lasers were quite useful to allow help helping that beam 
kind of tear through that ship. Uh, we should also do this. Was it? It was lasers. One there, drop another there, can we do something like that, move that there, have some corridor, a corridor here. Yeah, if we angle like that, that'll work. Okay, then two people to keep power supplied to that, then two people to keep power supplied to that, apparently they need to put down more beds because otherwise it'll be abandoning crew or something, um, but I haven't done this one yet so that's fine. did this. Alright, we've got enough beds. We're not going to have the uranium to finish this though, which is a bit of a pain. Do you have a net positive steel though? So that's 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 something. Okay. Uh, we're down to sixty percent efficiency in terms of hyperdrive, but that's fine. I'm I'm comfortable with that. And that all give us a much better firing angle. Okay, so now we just need to be able to afford it in terms of, we don't have enough coils and we don't have enough enriched uranium. We've got everything else though. I think this will definitely need to continue to have some armor here. And we'll just leave the slit to make it look interesting. Okay, six dudes powering these. That's probably not great. Then I'm also going to need these guys at least sitting in them, so we're also going to need a crew member there, another crew member there. So ideally I'd like a few more people here as well. So if I just sit a crew bunk here, then these guys can just dedicate it on the far one still assign these ones but if they're taking priority that'd be good okay that works for me
those were the things that we really needed. Uh, it says that there's more stuff up there for us. Move back a little bit. So I don't think we need all the process. Oh, hi there. Hello, sir. Do you have any rich uranium? You do. Can we do like a deal here? I can give you like a heap of processes. Processes are valuable, man. If you give me all your uranium, get another 20 that way. And we've got diamonds here as well, apparently. Uh, so maybe we could afford bigger shields. I may redesign things, yet s still. Um, that does a heap though. I want to share that trade. Thank you, sir. Send your dudes over. Alright, can we finish this now? No, we, uh, we need four more. The trader coming... Nope, he's not going to come near us. We've picked up everything here. I believe we're going to be positive steel. No, we're not going to have enough... Hey, what happened to my design? Oh, there we are. Uh, yeah, we do have enough to make it so. Cool. And we'll even gain some hypercoils. Alright, let's do it. We have a new design of the Phoenix straight away in a single episode. That's probably a record. Uh, you're doing that. You're doing that. You're doing that. You guys are doing these. You're doing that. You're doing that. You're doing that. Oh, I've just realized I need some um, airlock hatches there. Yeah, mirror mode's on. Good. That one there, and say one, one there. And I pro should probably also give them fire extinguishers. Go to this management. You're going to power these, please. You're going to power these. Yep, that works for me. Cool. Uh, you. Start picking up additional stuff as well. You can just go gr go ham on the steel. Now, how are we on crewing here? We're down on crew. We had a few people die, it seems. We're going to need money to really recrew. And I don't think the Phoenix is really up for uh, a good fight at the moment. As in, a really big fight. Oh, we've got incoming guys here, we'll have a chat to them. Hi there. Excuse me. Give me your crew. A little bit reluctant to uh, send this into battle, but I don't think I'm going to have much choice. Oh well, uh, back to station then. I think you're full on stuff. Yep. Uh, we'll just enable all now and just turn off the bit common things that I don't want. Uh, what can you harvest? You can still harvest some stuff, that's good. Our lifeboat's going to fill up on some Hyperion now, that's good. We're able to jump when it needs to. Why have we got crew members? Sir, why are you... Why do you need O2? Oh, 
Okay, we just left someone out there. I, I think he just expired. Sorry. All right, we'll move the lifeboat back. Max out our crew again. All right, we have very little money now. We can't really afford crew losses anymore. But we've got everyone there. All right, so let's go find another fight. Now, if I don't win this next one uh, by a large margin, then I think I'm going to need to go back to a fleet basis and maybe even skip back a, a version. Just call the Phoenix uh, as a bit of a um, bit of a bust. What's this? Hyper jump? Yep. What I really want is that pirate that was around before. And the one that we defeated here, I'm pretty sure that was not the same pirate that actually uh, blew up the Trodoc before either. I could be wrong though. There is an unknown signal down here, so maybe we'll... We'll run down and check out. It's probably a base. Uh, but is it the Imperium, our hated enemies? No, it's not. It's monolith dudes. All right, we're gonna the contractor station. We'll grab the bounty so at least we know where they are. Ah, there is a payment available. That means money. Cool, and then there's another exploration mission straight away. Uh, we've got a faction conflict mission against the Centurion Creerium as well. So I would like to carry that one out. Now that tells me where some of the guys that we don't like are. Hang on, is that straight away? Did that just give me another payment available? Thank you. All right, we've got some more money. Okay, that's good. Definitely could use more. How are we going on time? We've got 10 minutes left. Let's see if we can fight, finish this with a bang, with a bit of a fight. Again, I was hoping for a pirate, but that's fine. We should have a bounty down here. Let's just check the level on that though. Yeah, so it is going to be a level 12 fight, which may be a bad idea, but, you know, the whole premise of this one was YOLO. What happens when we're not cautious and we're playing on Admiral difficulty? Which is probably not good things, to be honest. Alright, here's the Fugitive Bounty. He's going to come in and wham on us. I'm going to call this number 2, you guys number one. Yeah. Uh, you are targeted there, and you can just kind of point in that direction to start you off. All right, let's slow down substantially so I can get a good bead on this and make some... That's another flaming spire. Okay. Well, we'll soon find out if this whole thing was a good idea or not. But we know now that we should probably work our way down the side of the ship. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And once again, we are having difficulties keeping our bead on our target. And 
it's going for a weak point here. Almost thinking the closer in we get, the better here. Yeah, they're going for this reactor. Come on, repower some shield guides, so this is going to be a real short fight. slightly we're going to hit that reactor now it did not blow up this side though that's good we've taken out their first gun moving on the second while wow, we suddenly just keep firing man will aim you. Yeah, they're now trying to dig for this one. Central shields are holding up nicely. Blown up another one. Definitely increasing the armor here was a good idea. We've just taken out that side. That's not great. Oh, we just had our array blow up. We're done. Or, unless we can run. Uh, so the closest station is actually up here, but I suspect it's about to blow my ship in two. Uh, actually that pivot has helped. Uh, we might as well speed up because I can't really do anything better. And we can get out of range, alright. Uh, run home to daddy. Run into our mamas. Of course it's going to follow us in and be engaged by the station. But that's okay. Alright, so I think the Phoenix is officially a bad idea or a bad ship uh, more specifically. Oh hang on, it's coming back. Well, let's slow down while I just maneuver to make sure I don't die here. It is coming after me. Yeah, it keeps on thinking that it's going to come back for more. You're dragging your own. It's dragging a point defense, like a defense turret with it. <laughs> And he's going to come back again as well, I suspect. That's 
it's not like I can do anything about it. Does this have any kind of guns apart from flax? I don't think it does. I think this thing would actually get its butt kicked. So we've got to really kind of hope for neutral shipping to come in and save us here. We do have the ability to jump away, and maybe that's what's required here. Because I don't think that this is going to really take out this forest. Uh, we'll jump to this station over here. Okay. So, we are down. We are certainly down. But we're not out. And I think that, yeah, the battleship was a bad idea. I think redundancy in the ships is what I need to go back to in having different ships and not just a single large battleship. It was probably also a bad idea just to try roll everything on an unproven ship and now we've just gotten the whole array blown up and that sort of thing, especially when I did a redesign it on it. But you live and learn and um, I think from here, what I might do is turn maybe the Phoenix into and uh, we have into a small fleet of salvaging ships, of fast salvaging ships, so it can basically run away and have it go around the areas where we've already blown some stuff up, pick up what it can, and then we may have to jump back to our previous system, which is no fun, but that'll make for a fairly chill episode on Saturday, I think, um, and get us back to the point where we can convert them back into war warships. And yeah, um, and then we can have another, come back and uh, teach these folks a lesson not to mess with us but ultimately I don't think the the Phoenix worked out uh, the ship design was really not there and that really showed I think with uh, those flaming spires on how effective they were uh, versus the Phoenix despite the Phoenix being a much larger ship and more expensive ship it just came down to the uh, flaming spires were better designed than my ship there I think anyway we have learnt a bit, we have learnt in the hard and the painful uh, method, but that's all we have time for tonight. So thank you everyone for watching. It has been, um, yeah, it's been an interesting episode. It's been not as exciting as the last one, I'm going to say that, uh, and not as triumphant either. I mean, we took a small risk, we... Um, got us some of our stuff back, we got some of it blown up again, and we're just going to have to limp our way back to recovery and having our, our fleet back, I think. So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next stream. Bye now.